we're here in uh, Ocean Village in Southampton and we're doing another yacht delivery and we've got a beautiful uh, blue uh, Beneteau Oceanus 393 uh, you can see behind me it's in fantastic condition it's really nice uh, the owner has been asked to move the boat out of Ocean Village because Ocean Village is doing some work and he's very fortunate he's got a good winter package up in St Catherine's Marina in the centre of London and it's a tower bridge so we've been asked to move the boat up there for them uh, which is a fantastic opportunity here so very exciting to go all the way up the Thames and take a boat like this. We've got a very small weather window we're here on Friday afternoon and there's a bit of a blow comes through and it's uh, a bit wet around me but it clears through tonight and uh, we've got a weather window for a couple of days to get around the corner. The owners were here as well which was lovely they met us here the boat is full of food full of water full of diesel they've given us a complete tour and handed over everything which was very generous and very kind of them they're so helpful uh, when the boat's new to you so uh, yeah really good and it's kitted out with absolutely everything they've uh, really looked after the boat lovely looking boat in blue really nice slab reef in main uh, great furling genoa the anchor's really good and recently been tested, which is great. The hole's in lovely condition, copper bottom. Got a beautiful spray hood, cockpit tent. Uh, it's winter, so that'll be quite kindly. They've got uh, heating down below and heating in the cockpit. So, very nice. As soon as you step on the sugar scoop and the, the bathing platform and into the boat, you reckon like, it's a huge big cockpit, very nice. Lovely and warm and, and dry in here under this big cockpit tent. Susan's sorting out all the uh, stuff inside and finding what we've got. Have a look down below. Really nice saloon area. Uh, helm station. A lovely chart table. Got an aft double. Port, port quarter. An aft double. Starboard quarter. Very nice heads. Very beautiful. Lovely galley area. <laughs> really nice. Uh, another double here, which is very usable. And another heads. Have a look in there. How about that? Wonderful. Lots of light, lots of portholes, lots of skylights. And really in fantastic condition. I don't think we've been on a cleaner boat than this. All right, let's check the most important base of safety equipment. We're heading up the tidal Thames. Uh, what's the first thing that you're going to do if it goes wrong? Put the anchor down. So let's check this anchor before we leave. So we're going to leave tomorrow morning at about um, nine o'clock and take the tide out of Southampton water and down out of the Solent and along the south coast towards um, Eastbourne, Beachy Head, along Durgeness and then up around Dover to Ramsgate. And that's going to take us about 24 hours. It's 135 miles. And with any passage, we're going to have good tide and foul tide but we're looking at really what the tide's doing as we go around Dover to try and make the best of the tide there. We then want to get round North Foreland with a good tide and also we're looking at the wind and it's still blowing quite hard when we get to Ramsgate and we'll have a foul tide there. So we're going to anchor for a couple of hours, probably two or three hours, just so that those winds are going to be easing and the tide will have turned in our favour. We'll then take the tide round North Foreland and into the sea reach of the Thames. We're looking for the small ship anchorage and that's at Yanlet Flats. Then we'll anchor there overnight and then the final passage will take us up to St Catherine's Dock and we'll be looking at arriving there at around two o'clock. We can get in two. Uh, St Catherine's Dock between one o'clock and four o'clock in the afternoon. So at the moment, all being well, that's our passage plan.
doing really well. We've just passed uh, Selsey Mill, 6.2 knots, and uh, very sunny. Passing the land by pretty quickly. We've uh, got out of all the sailing races in the Solent and all the shipping, and we've got clear water ahead of us. It's three o'clock, change of watch. We've been on the go for about six hours now and we're making really good progress. Wind's eased off a bit, but unfortunately the grey clouds have come and it's getting a little bit wet, but never mind, it's still all good. Well, we've had a great first day today. We are just passing Brighton as the sun sets behind me. And um, we've had some big cumulus nimbus clouds around. Only a little bit of rain dropped on us, making six and a half knots. Very good. So we're going into the night now, um, around Beachy Head and up towards Dover. So it's all going very well. It's great. Oh, good morning. Where are we? In a marina. A new marina, actually, the new marina in Dover. Yeah, the wind blew up rather a lot. Uh, we put uh, got up to 20 knots, we reefed the main once, got up to 25 knots, reefed again, and eventually it blew 30 knots. We're sailing right on the edge of the winds that are going through. And um, we generally rely quite heavily on our forecasts these days and think they're very accurate, which they are. Uh, but you quite often get a little bit uh, of a bit more wind than we thought. But uh, we were in a safe place to get more wind. We knew where we were with regards to safe haven. And as the wind blew up and the seas got up, it was five o'clock in the morning. We were able to uh, fill the headsail and um, sheet in the main and motor in towards Dover. They were fantastic here. The, the Dover VTS helped us get through the entrance, which is pretty big, and into the new marina, which is also very big. Taking a long time to open this new marina. Uh, so we arrived at five o'clock in the morning. We've had three hours sleep. Uh, everything looks better in the daylight, of course. And the tidal gate opens in about an hour. So uh, we were going to stop at Ramsgate anyway um, to wait for the tide. But the tidal gate will open in an hour. The wind is still up a little. It's around 20 knots. We've got blue skies today and a forecast of falling winds, uh, falling for nothing tonight in London. So. Uh, Let's get going. Uh, good morning from the Thames. We're at uh, Gravesend. We came in last night with the last uh, few hours of the river section uh, off the tidal estuary. You can see we're on a mooring, a yellow mooring buoy. Uh, there's three of them here, uh, 20 pounds for a night, and it's a perfect stage to stop for the final leg to St. Cat's. We've got 22 miles to do today. Lovely still weather and uh, very nice. You can see it's really low tide. You can see the mud behind me. 
and uh, just cooking some, some breakfast, some eggs and bacon. Tide turns now, we're leaving another half an hour for the 22 miles to St. Catharines on the final leg. Stanley Vessel 2 mile, Man of ETS, good morning. Uh, good morning, just reporting our passage uh, from Rose End Pier up to St. Catharines Marina this morning, uh, slipping our line shortly, over. Leaving Rose End, uh, inward bound for St. Catharines, all received. Ah, uh, hi. Paul, oh, morning, it's Mark. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Yep, well, we've just slipped our line to our mooring buoy at Gravesend this morning. Nothing wrong with the boat, everything's gone very well, touch wood. Not quite there yet. <laughs> We're nearly there. Yep, yeah, okay. Well, it looks like a nice calm day for it, so we'll see you later. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Okay, yep, yeah, bye. Well, that was a fantastic run up the river this morning and we just arrived at Tower Bridge, as you can see. How beautiful. Um, we're going to give the marina a call on the VHF-80, set the fenders both sides and some lines and uh, nearly there. But uh, London's looking spectacular as usual. It's a stunningly beautiful bridge. That was a fantastic delivery, absolutely brilliant. Uh, really enjoyed it. The boat, the Beneteau 393, has a good reputation, I can see why. We had some challenging conditions around North Fallen Point. And um, yeah, she was very safe, very solid, handled the waves very well. And lovely to live on, loads of space, um, really did go very well. The delivery was challenging as well, planning wise. Um, and if you get the, get the opportunity to go up the Thames, do take it. It's a lovely place to go. Very interesting, very exciting. It's lots of buoy channels uh, with some good planning. It's uh, perfectly safe and easy to do. Uh, so a couple of places to stop coming up the Thames, which are great. And if you get the opportunity to come to St. Catherine's Dock, wow, it really is a beautiful place. Um, built in 1828 by Sir Thomas Telford. And uh, right next to Tower Bridge, really lovely. Uh, very lucky to do this delivery. And the owners are very pleased they've got their boat in London. Another successful yacht delivery.